Good evening, everybody. It is the night before we head off to Puerto Vallarta. Yes, we are in the middle of packing, also cleaning the house. We have our lovely friend going to pet sit for us while we're gone. Thank you, Sarah. We really appreciate it. We just got home from the parents' house. My mom's birthday is on the 10th, but we will be out of the country, so we did a little birthday celebration, gift cake stuff tonight. So now we are back and we are gonna finish packing up. We have a few little things to clean around the house, and then it is bedtime for an early seven o'clock flight tomorrow. Yes, so we're gonna be getting up at like 4.45 or something like that in the morning. Just the sound so, of that yeah. makes me cringe. I'm definitely wanting to get this finished. So we only have a couple more things to pack in our backpacks, and then I think we're ready to go. So we will see you guys tomorrow bright and early. Yes. Good morning, everybody. It is a travel day. We are on our way to the airport. Yes, yeah, so we board a 7.30 a.m. flight to Houston. We have ground time for about an hour and a half, and then we go Houston to Puerto Vallarta. We have so much excitement for today that we only slept like two and a half hours <laughs> last night. I know that's not good, but we thought we were ahead on getting everything done yesterday and last night, but we ran out a little bit of time, so. It's okay. We're gonna be running on adrenaline today. We'll probably get a nap in on the flight to Puerto Vallarta. It's almost right at three hours. So yeah, we will see you guys in a little bit. So we're all checked in for our flight. We're through security. All we have left to do now is grab our boarding passes and get on that plane. Yes, we're actually gonna be flying a commuter jet to Bush Intercontinental in Houston. Yeah, so it's Mesa Airways, so it's United Express. And then we'll fly an A320 from Houston to Puerto Vallarta. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit different wearing a mask the whole flight, yeah. other than like, you know, taking some sips of water or eating a snack. So yeah. It's gonna be interesting, but we are ready to travel. We are ready to go see Puerto Vallarta and we're ready to spend some time just relaxing. Yeah.
just took off out of Austin. We only have about 30 minutes in the air and we'll be on the ground in Houston. So far, so good. Uh, we made it on the flight. The part of the portion is looking good as well. Yeah, so this flight has like 50 MPCs or 20 MPCs. Yeah, I think Puerto Vallarta has about the same. Yeah, so Puerto Vallarta is pretty open, so we shouldn't have a problem. That's also a bigger aircraft. Yeah. just made it to Houston Intercontinental Airport. Our gate going to Puerto Vallarta is just literally right across from the gate we arrived at. So we don't have very far to walk, no. but we need to find some coffee and maybe a snack. I don't even know if the Starbucks is open. We're gonna see. We're gonna find out. It's a little bit dead in here right now. It's Ryan's first time to Houston Intercontinental. Yeah. Not mine, but <laughs> it did not look as nice as this when I was here last. This is a beautiful place. So we uh, downloaded Parks and Recreation, so we're going to be watching that on our way down and over to Puerto Vallarta. They're shutting the door, so I need to get in my seat. Buckled up. We'll be there in about three hours. Enjoy the view out of the window, and we'll see when we get to Puerto Vallarta.
Tiendanitos de Puerto Vallarta. We just landed here in Puerto Vallarta, so now we're gonna we're about to get off the plane, go through customs and immigration. Puerto Vallarta, the local time is approximately Start our vacation. 11 55. We made it to our hotel. We are staying at the Sheraton Bougainvillea and I want to give you a room tour. So let's go inside. Welcome to our hotel room here at the Sheraton in Puerto Vallarta. So we checked in about half an hour ago and this is our room. And we have two full-size beds, and come look at this amazing view of the beach, and the ocean, and the pool, and the beach club, and we're actually staying in the Bougainvillea's beach club portion of the hotel, which has been fully renovated, remodeled, it's stunning. And if you come back this way, Whenever you enter the hotel room, you have your vanity and then your shower and toilet areas. And we've been in contact with a gentleman here at Sheraton by the name of Jesus. And Jesus has been fantastic. We let him know that we were coming. We let him know that we were gonna be filming the property and this is gonna be our first trip since the pandemic started. So Jesus met us at the entrance of the hotel when our Uber pulled up. It was a fantastic entrance. All of the staff were amazing. Your temperature is red upon entrance to the hotel. They have sanitizing masks that you step on to get all of the bacteria and germs off of your feet. Jesus led us up to the reception area. He told us to go get checked in. We might notice a few little differences to our reservation. So we didn't quite know what to expect. So a gentleman by the name of Jacob brought us up to our room. He was fantastic, helped us with our luggage. He brought us into this room and this is the room that we booked. So we were like, okay, I mean, it's gorgeous, um, but we weren't really sure what he meant by some changes to the room. Well. Jacob dropped our luggage off, went to the door next to us, opened it, and then he brought us into this portion. So it's actually two rooms in one. So not only do we have a standard hotel room, we also have a full apartment. So we have a full kitchen. We have a almost full-size refrigerator and freezer. We have a dishwasher. We have a range. We have a built-in microwave. 
We have toasters, coffee makers, blenders. It's the whole nine yards. And then on this side, they've converted this into a living space. So these actually could pull out into day beds, but we have couches, TVs, and then the patio actually extends both of the rooms. So let's go get a look at that view. So we know that this was a very quick room tour and we are going to put together a full vlog of our room tour, a review of our stay, and a full resort tour as well as the restaurants, pools, beach areas. We are going to do a full vlog dedicated to just the resort. So that is going to do it for this travel day vlog. We will pick it up here next Saturday. Thank you so much, Jesus, for a fantastic and professional system you have running here at the Sheraton. We will see you guys, like I said, next week. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And as Ryan's favorite thing, ring the bell so you can be notified every time we put out a new video. Whoa.